friends today we would be doing the identification of aluminium ion aluminium belongs to group 3 and the group reagent is ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide here we have taken the original solution the original solution is prepared by dissolving the solid salt in distilled water which you can see in the insert video on the top left. After preparing the original solution, I have added the solid ammonium chloride and mixed it well. Now I am adding ammonium hydroxide into it. You can see that on adding ammonium hydroxide, there is formation of a white hazy precipitate or rather a gelatinous precipitate that is formed. Now we will be adding the dilute hydrochloric acid with intention to dissolve the precipitate. You can see that on adding dilute hydrochloric acid the precipitate starts to dissolve and soon the solution will become clear. The aluminium ions react with ammonium hydroxide forming the white gelatinous precipitate of aluminium hydroxide which dissolves in hydrochloric acid. Now we will be dividing this solution into two parts and we will be doing the confirmatory test. The first confirmatory test is to add the sodium hydroxide solution. Here I have taken the solution and I am adding sodium hydroxide. You can see that there is formation of the gelatinous white precipitate. Now I will be reducing this precipitate so that the next step would be much easier. The next step is to add excess of sodium hydroxide into the precipitate. You can see that on adding excess of sodium hydroxide, the precipitate starts to redissolve. On mixing well, finally we got the clear solution. Initially, aluminium hydroxide was formed which was the precipitate, but on adding excess of sodium hydroxide, the precipitate dissolved due to formation of sodium aluminate. Now we move on to the second confirmatory test that is a lake test where we add blue litmus solution into the second part of the solution and then we add ammonium hydroxide. I have taken the second part of the solution and here I am adding the blue litmus solution. You can observe that on adding the blue litmus solution, it turned red because of the presence of hydrochloric acid in it. Now I am adding ammonium hydroxide slowly along the sides of the test tube. You can see that there is formation of a blue colored precipitate on contact with the solution and the red color is slowly getting discharged and this blue precipitate is classically known as the lake. The aluminium hydroxide acts as a plug here hence it prevents the rest of the reaction taking place hence the red color remains. The blue colored insoluble adsorption complex formed is called as the lake and this is a blue mass floating in a colorless solution hence called lake test. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will be notified about my new videos.